Hey everybody, I want to try something a little bit different today. I'm do going to do a video blog post. I saw something at lunch this afternoon that I couldn't believe and I knew when I saw it I had to come back and tell you guys about it and I wanted to put it up on the blog. Today when I was at lunch at a fast food restaurant, yes I know fast food is my weakness, um, I can't get away from it. I just love fast food. Anyway, the guy in front of me was really, really rude to the kid who was putting his tray together. And as this kid is making his drink and putting his food on his tray, this guy is just condescending and he's talking down to him and he's almost really belittling this kid. Um, I was watching this and I was thinking to myself, man, how rude. And as the kid gives him his tray, the guy says to him, well, I hope you have a blessed day. And I knew it when he said that. That's one of those codes for I'm a Christian. You should become a Christian too. Anytime somebody says have a blessed day, you know they're a church person which is silly on some level, but I'm not going to get into that. At any rate, I couldn't believe it that the whole time this guy was um, interacting with this kid, he was subtly communicating things that are the exact opposite of the message of Jesus. Pride, haughtiness, condescension, almost hatred. But, in, but then at the end, he gives them this church message. And I realized we do that all the time. We live our lives in a way that's opposite of what Jesus really teaches us. And then we show up to church on Sunday morning or we hand somebody a track or a flyer and think that we've done our job. But what I want to encourage you today is this, that, that your faith in Christ and following Jesus is about more than just a catchphrase or a key word. It's about living every day and every moment in that day the way that Jesus lived, a life of love, a life of joy, a life of peace, and really reaching out to those all around us in every single thing that we do. So I would encourage you today as you go out, whatever you're doing, whether you're at work, whether you're going home, whatever you've got going on today, find a way to include Christ in every single thing that you do. I think if we do that, then we can really make a difference. All right. That's it. Let's see how this thing turns out.